so it's been a while since I've been shooting. It's probably eight or nine weeks actually that I've been on this farm and done some serious shooting. I've done a bit of plinking on the back garden, but I've had a break. Uh, I think reviewing the uh, last three rifles we did in quick succession uh, took a bit of a toll and I lost a bit of the fun in shooting because I was doing more reviewing so I had a break uh, and now we're going to try and balance out the reviewing more with the actual hunting and the fun side uh, how we used to do it. So today it's not equipment review it's just me shooting uh, and I've got my new Walther uh, LGV Competition Ultra in 177 calibre. Uh, on top I've got my favourite scope which is my Hawk Panorama 4 to 12 uh, by 40 and it's AOIR so it's got adjustable objective and uh, illuminated reticle if I need it. It's a half mil dot scope reticle and it's nice and thin so it's fine, it's uh, ideal for doing fine shooting. Sorry if the pigs in the background are causing a bit of a noise. Uh, they usually do, but I don't know if you can hear outside. Uh, the wind's really bad, so coming into this indoor 45 yard barn is ideal. Uh, and the aim of today is, like I said, uh, just to see how my new rifle performs. I'll tell you a little bit more about it when we go up there and put up the target. So what I've done here is just put a, a normal target in back to front and put a red dot on it. Uh, probably about the size of a 2.5 calibre pellet. Uh, and it's in my advanced target target holder uh, and I just want to see how the Walther LGV competition ultra board in 177 does in this indoor barn where there's no wind and it's straight out of the box only thing I have actually done to the uh, rifle is to actually uh, take the strip it down, degrease it, regrease it, uh, and just tune the trigger to my liking. So let's see how we get on. I'm using air arms field pellets. So there's nothing fancy about what I'm doing. I've just got a camping table here, what I use when I come in the barn, and on it I've got an old pillar. Uh, what I've folded over and I leave down here in the barn uh, and I'm going to be sat down so the sitting position uh, resting the rifle on my palm and my palm on the pillar. Uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to uh, get the rifle zeroed off camera or roughly near enough bang on and then I'm going to do a group and then if need be at the end of the group which I'm going to film uh, I'll make a final adjustment. So I've got the uh, target set out at 28 meters. So 28 meters is around about 31, 32 yards, I think. I'm just going to zoom in slowly because it's quite dark in this barn, uh, and the camera really does struggle when I zoom in quick and I lose focus. So as far as the camera will go in, and that's 42 times extended zoom. Now I'll just check. Parallax on the scope, make sure it's still set to 28 meters. Uh, I like to say, I have been shooting it uh, zero in off camera, and I'm not too far off now, but not bang on. So we'll do a group now and see how she performs. That's a good start, that's a bullseye. That's another bullseye. Three shots straight away using them air arms field pellets, uh, and that's three bullseyes. So we'll zoom out and we'll take a look. Okay, what I forgot to mention is uh, before I actually shot the group is uh, for all of you who know and follow the channel, me and Davey are sponsored by quite a few 
organisation, Sandal Field Sports being one. Um, I've got quite a few uh, different rifles. But what I have done, uh, probably about 10, 11 weeks ago now, maybe a little bit longer, I decided to sell four of my guns uh, and I wanted a change. Uh, so I sold my uh, Stage 2 297, my Longbow, uh, my 98 and my HW100, uh, keeping my Sandal Field Sports Imp uh, and also Laura's Ratworks Reaper, uh, my Walther RM8 and I wanted something I could use for HFT but it wasn't uh, tuned, it was straight out of the box and the rifle what did impress me, like I said, is when I reviewed them uh, a while ago, a couple of years ago now I think it was, with David, was the Walther LGV Competition Ultra. Uh, it impressed me because it shot like a tuned rifle out the box and it gave good results. Uh, that's the reason I went back to Sandal Field Sports uh, and I bought uh, this 177 Walther uh, from Tony Wall. Like I said, it's not been tuned, it's just been stripped down, degreased, regreased, uh, and then I've tuned the trigger to my liking. So I've got uh, not such a long first stage, uh, and it stops perfectly, then a slight touch of the uh, second stage, uh, and the sears release, and obviously the trigger works really well. Uh, and as you'll see in a second when I zoom in, uh, it's shooting really nice. Really pleased with that. Uh, and what I can tell you is now, before I zoom in, is when I put the crosshair, actually on the target, the red dot, the crosshair was just about the size of the red dot. So it's as accurate as basically as I could have got it from where I shot it down, like I say, 31, 32 yards. Uh, as you can see, I've written on the card, and I've not got a 5 pence piece, which is 17 mil uh, in diameter. But what I've got is something a lot smaller, uh, and it's a little drawing pin. You can see I've written on the card now, three shots at 32 yards. Uh, witnessed on camera uh, and I must say after zero in the rifle they were the first three shots I did uh, there was no uh, retake and retake and retake it was just straight three shots uh, and if I zoom in slowly now you'll see that all you can see really is the paper tear uh, so that drawing pin which is probably I don't know maybe 10 mil is uh, covering them three shots less for that tiny bit probably a mill each side of paper tear so I'm pretty pleased with that so the rifle itself is giving me results uh, that I'd expect to get from uh, a PCP or a really well tuned rifle uh, at this range uh, so I'm really really pleased with that and that's with Amir Arms Field so it'll be interesting to see how it does at a further distance Okay, I've moved the target holder and card back now to 45 yards. Put the crosshair on the top once I've changed the parallax on the scope. Uh, we'll do three shots now to see uh, how the air arms field group this range. So I'll just set my parallax. I'll be around about there. One. Quite hard to see, it's quite dark down there. We're still on times ten. Two. Let's see where that went. I honestly uh, cannot see where they're going through my scope because it's uh, quite dark down there. Uh, but I'll zoom out uh, and then take the camera up and have a look. 
Well, obviously, come up to the uh, 45 yard mark now, uh, and I'm actually over the moon with that. I couldn't properly see where the faller shot was, uh, and it's probably because uh, two of the pellets have gone through the same hole, and one is probably no more than a two two pellet width off to the right. Uh, so, yeah, again, that was the first three shots I fired with this rifle at 45 yards. So that's pretty staggering. And like I said, them sort of results, I'd be happy uh, with a tuned rifle, highly tuned rifle, or even uh, one of the PCPs I shoot at 45 yards. But we'll zoom in and have a closer look. So there we are then. Sorry if it's a bit dark, like I say, it is dark down here. Uh, this is where I had the cross here, and I knew that the uh, faller shot would be low. Uh, you can see there's two pellets there, gone basically in the same hole, uh, and one uh, just off to the side. And as I wrote on there, 12 for the 12th again, 177 Wolfer LGV Competition Ultra, and it's 45 yards, three shots, and was filmed. So, absolutely stunning result. And I'm so pleased I bought this rifle. To give you some idea how small that group is, I've used that same drawing pin uh, and again put the actual drawing pin in the centre uh, of the group and you can see it almost covers uh, the whole group. So to be honest between 31, 32 yards and 45 yards there's no difference really in group size. The rifle is just phenomenal. Uh, Brilliant out the box rifle. So, in this mud here, there's two golf tees, uh, and I've placed them on the back wall. If I come round slowly, so we don't you lose focus. Down there, right at the back wall, where I've got my table set up, is where I'm going to be shooting them from. That's 45 yards. Alright, so now you've seen I am at 45 yards. I'm going to zoom in slowly. And the white tiny, which I think is a golf tee, uh, I put actually next to the back door, which is steel. So a good backstop. And a pellet's not going to damage it. Uh, you can see there's two of them. Uh, I've had a, already one shot at the right one. Uh, just to try and find my hold over uh, and I can see it just went a slight little bit high and a slight bit to the right but the wobble could have been me but it's around about one mil dot so on camera now we'll have a few shots and see if we can uh, hit these tiny targets which are probably I don't know no bigger than say a 5p There's one, and we can get the second one straight after it. And that's two. I think that hit it. It looks like it's damaged it. So, really, really pleased straight after each other. One shot to calibrate and then two shots to hit them. So I've been up uh, and retrieved these two little sticks. See that one's got a little bit left on it. And this one has been totally destroyed. So really pleased with that. And as you saw, they were straight after each other. So just for a bit of fun and an ultimate test of the uh, rifle, after shooting them to what I think are golf tees, uh, I put my advanced target target holder out again uh, with a card in and this time I put three drawing pins side by side at 45 yards. So I'm just going to have a little bit of fun uh, and see basically how many shots it takes me to hit all three. I'm not saying I'm going to do it in three shots, it might take between five and ten because the mill dot is going to be actually bigger 
interested in the uh, what I mean at, but we'll see how we get on. One out of one anyway, not too bad. Drawing pins at 45. That's two out of two. You wouldn't think it's possible, would you, with a gun? Basically straight out of the box. Drawing pins at 45 yards, where it is. You watch this last one, it'll take me loads of shots now. Oh, you look at that, I think, because I can't really tell, because like I say it's dark, but I think that is close to the uh, drawing pin. See where that one went. That's two out of two, and then two shots at the third one. See where that one went. I think that one went a bit high. So maybe the other two went close to the actual drawing pin. I think they're just going a little bit to the uh, right, but almost touching. I'll keep going because it's proving that the rifle does shoot and group nicely. less for one shot I'm hoping that I've got a like a one old group there we go I've lost count of how many that was but hopefully uh, they're close and it was a good group so if I come over to the target, I'll use a bit of straw because I've left my screwdriver down the bottom. He saw that there's a drawing pin there, first shot, I hit it. Drawing pin there, first shot on that, I hit it. And then this one, as I thought, uh, it took me a few shots. I thought I was doing too well here. But I don't know if you can see that there. There's quite a gap there, uh, and then there's a bit of an half moon shape. Uh, basically, as I thought, now where my finger's covering is where the drawing pin was. But there's about four or five shots there in that tiny group, which would be covered by a drawing pin. So four or five still grouping really nice. Uh, and then the majority of that hole there is damaged, less for that one shot there, which was me, uh, caused by the drawing pin. Uh, let's see if we can... Okay, so that's quite good. Got one drawing pin there. One drawing pin there, and the one that looks like it's caused most of the damage has got nothing on it at all, so there's no back or anything. Uh, that's that one. So I don't know if you can s see them. Three drawing pins at 45 yards, so I'm really pleased with that. 